So I have 20 minutes to talk about surgery for advanced breast cancer. Um, and as you can imagine, there are several topics that we could have discussed, but I have chosen to focus on inflammatory breast cancer. I have no conflicts to disclose. So today we'll talk about the epidemiology of inflammatory breast cancer. We'll focus a lot on diagnosis. Um, and there we will discuss the MOC questions. Um, we'll talk about the role and importance of multimodality treatment with a specific emphasis on surgical management. And then the meat of the talk will be on the current controversies, including the feasibility of sentinel node biopsy, breast conserving surgery, and breast reconstruction for patients with inflammatory breast cancer. So inflammatory breast cancer is a very rare but aggressive form of locally advanced breast cancer that occurs when the actual cancer cells block the lymphatics of the skin. And that's actually what leads to several of the dermatologic manifestations that we commonly see in patients who present with this disease. It's generally diagnosed about five to 10 years younger than patients with locally advanced breast cancer, and the incidence ranges between one and 5%. And although the incidence is low, or relatively low, it actually accounts for approximately 10% of breast cancer mortalities. There are two types of inflammatory breast cancer which are described in the literature. By far the most common is primary or de novo inflammatory breast cancer, and that's when a patient presents with inflammatory breast cancer in a previously normal breast. Secondary inflammatory breast cancer occurs in a patient who's previously had breast cancer, whether it was treated with BCT or mastectomy, and they subsequently develop inflammatory breast cancer features either on the chest wall or uh, in the breast that already had cancer. Again, that's much more rare. I haven't seen a, a case of secondary inflammatory breast cancer. The clinical features are important uh, to discuss, and this is often misdiagnosed, and patients do um, go without appropriate treatment for several weeks to months. But these patients can present with thickness, heaviness, or visible asymmetry of one breast compared to the contralateral breast. There may or may not be itching associated with it, and they can have some discoloration. The discoloration can be very subtle, ranging from just a slight erythema to purple or even having a bruised appearance. And I'll show some actual clinical pictures later on. They may present with warmth and a classic finding that is often described as the peau orange type appearance of the skin, which is a thickened skin with dimpling, leading to the appearance of an orange peel. 